All right, so we have uh, Lewis Collingwood asking, when wearing a kilt pin, what is the best way not to make big holes in your kilt? Not to make big holes in the kilt. Um, be gentle with it. Um, the I, A couple things. Number one, when you're wearing a kilt pin, be careful and don't just stab it through the kilt. I'd actually say kind of work it in so you're kind of pushing it between the individual threads that make up the warp and the weft. <clears throat> Some people like to say for, for their kilts, you know, I buy a kilt pin for every kilt. I put one kilt pin on that kilt. That's the kilt pin that lives on there. I don't take it on. I don't take it off. It just stays on there. Um, in my mind, it's actually a little bit counterintuitive. The If you put on one kilt pin on your kilt and you never change it out, you're, you've decided where that kilt pin's going to go and where that hole is going to go. And if you don't remove it, it's gonna kind of like sag over time. Or if you catch it on something a couple times in a row, it's going to kind of, you know, push apart things there. My estimation, it probably makes more sense to actually take your kilt pin off every time you're done wearing it and put it on a slightly different location or, you know, you're not, you're not getting to the exact same, you know, four thread cross area. Um, but put it in a slightly different location, you know, here, then move it a quarter inch up, a quarter inch in, whatever, um, each time. That way you don't have to worry about it actually, you know, making the material droop if you leave it in your closet for months and years at a time over time. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I would do is just be gentle and careful and, you know, work the pin into the fabric and take it off and put it on every time you want to wear it. Yeah, because if you leave it there, it's going to start all on out the... That, that opening. Um, one thing we noticed, uh, actually I noticed uh, yesterday or the day before, we had a gentleman come in that had um, a kilt pin that actually got caught on, on something and it ripped out the front apron. So one of the things that I would suggest doing is on the back side, there's multiple layers that you're going through. Make sure that that kilt pin is going through the thicker part, not the single layer because that's, that's one thing that he he did was he had on a single layer and that just tore out real easy. Yeah. Um, but and then we had just all kinds of backings that we've seen people do. And I think, Lucas, I don't know if you remember, it was, it was Cameron, one of our Cameron, uh, uh, they had one of their kilts in that had uh, a, like a plastic behind it that they sung this, put the swing arm through to help give it some, a little bit some more, weight, su yeah. more support from little, the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I think that's actually a very... I don't know if that would, how much that would actually affect it because that piece of plastic wouldn't be in all the way up to the top of the kilt. So it's not hanging from that piece of plastic. It probably helps some, but to mm. varying degrees. Um, but putting the pin through multiple layers, yes. I agree, that's another very good point. Yeah, not just through, just through the front apron, like the front of the front apron, but by the fringe, you know, the stuff on the back there, make sure it's through a few layers of cloth. Yeah. Not the under apron, but the few layers of cloth by the fringe on the on the front mm -hmm. apron. Yeah, that's a very good point. So what do you guys do? Do you have one kilt pin for all of your kilts or one kilt pin per kilt? Let us know in the comments. If you wanna see a video where we teach you a rubber band trick how to keep your kilt pin on, check this video out over here. If you wanna see a whole list of hints, tips, and tricks, check out this whole playlist down there.